What's good is the melanated god, your man Jared D. Finest. And right now, I'm about to break down the five step process to start your music career. Let's talk about it. Like I said, it's your man Jerry D. Finest, and I'm about to discuss the five step process to start your music career. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also click the bell to activate notifications so you can receive videos like this in the future via your email. Number one, you must outline your goals. What is it that you want to do? Do you want to sell a thousand copies? Do you want to get a million video views? Do you want to get added to plenty of playlists, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever it is? You have to outline what you want to do specifically because if you don't do that, you're going to pretty much just be winging it and doing whatever, you know, but you want to make sure you know exactly what you want to do when it comes to your career because that's the difference between a hobbyist and a professional. So make your goals. Number two. You have to be realistic. A lot of people think of the music industry as getting somewhere or getting on something, but that's not what the music industry is at all. You don't get on, you don't get in, you just do. It doesn't matter where you are, where you live, you just do. So you have to be realistic about this. It's not a destination that you're shooting for. This is a journey. So you have to be realistic, make up your mind about what you want to do in a realistic manner and go for it in a realistic manner. Number three, this is so important, yet so many people fail to do it. You want to create endless amounts of content. Now, I know sometimes it may seem like an artist may have gotten popular or whatever just because of one song. That does not mean that they only made one song. A lot of times, some of these artists put that one song that you eventually found out about years ago online. They were working it online, they were working it on streaming platforms, stuff like that. And then once the song got popular and got released to radio, they then re-released it and it became recycled because it just established an expiration date because it started hitting stuff like the billboard charts and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you're creating endless amounts of content because you never know what song is going to be that song that puts you over the top as far as your career is concerned. So create that music, create that music. Now as far as releasing it, you don't have to necessarily release all of your music at once you want to create it that way you have so much music in your arsenal and you can come in so many different ways with your releases so create 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 and create again number four very important come to terms with money how are you going to be funding your career? Are you going to have a job? Are you going to get investors? Because the difference again between a hobbyist and a professional is also money, not just talent. Cause there's plenty of people that feel like, oh man, they sleeping on me, I'm the next best this. Yada yada yada, Yo, I just need somebody to just show me that love, put me on. No, 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 no. What you want to do is have your own financial back, whether it's like I said, yourself or an investor, because that can open up plenty of doors for you as far as promotion is concerned, as far as quality production is concerned, so much. So you wanna come in terms of money. Make sure you have a budget. Make sure you have seed money, capital, whatever you wanna call it to invest in your career because nobody else is going to do that if you're not doing it for yourself. So that's very important. Number five, you want to make sure that you're executing your plan. There are tons of people that go through this process. They write out their goals, they have money, all this type of stuff, but they never execute because they tell themselves, oh, I'm perfectionist, I want it to be perfect. Sometimes you are figuratively one step away from success. You just have to take that step and go for it. If you don't go for it, you never know if you'll be successful. You can't get up in your head. Oh man, I gotta wait until this happens. I gotta wait until that happens. Just go for it. Don't wait. Go for it. Once you got the plan in place, once you got the funds, once you got the execution plan, your goals and your mindset is realistic, go for it. You never want to hold yourself back waiting. Just go for it. The time is not tomorrow. It's not next year. It's right now. So go for it right now. Like I said, that was my five step process to start a music career. Now, if you don't agree with what I said, leave your comments below. Let's, let's share them, share them. I wanna hear what you have to say. However, be sure to like this video. If you're new, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to activate the notification so that you can get more updates for videos like this in the future. It's your man, Jerry D. Finest. Much love to you. Peace.